Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. As you can see, we are looking at an empty space that it is finally time to put something in. We are going to put the uh, put the new diesel generator or biodiesel generator. I guess it runs on both, so we can call it both. Uh, but we've got our refinery made last time. This thing here is, you know, got a bunch of biodiesel in it. We've got the pipe all ready to go and we are all ready to make... Where is it? Diesel generator. Now, this is a bit of a crazy machine. So I think we're going to put it around. Let's just stop that. We're going to put it around this way as it is on the page. So we're going to have the generator blocks at this side. We'll put the radiator at this side. Um, we're going to need nine radiator blocks, heavy engineering, 27 of those, and six generator blocks. So pretty heavy price tag. It's like 200 steel or something um, to make. Uh, but this is where we're going to put it, and this is how we're going to make it. So as per usual, I'm um, going to run away. Uh, we've already got one heavy engineering box, we just need 26, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to run away and make all of these because it's just a bit tedious. Um, so I will be back once I've made a bunch of blocks, and then we'll look at placing this and turning it on. Uh, and from there, we'll probably have to reroute a whole bunch of our power and redo some stuff. So I'll probably do that this episode as well, uh, because otherwise it's pretty boring just watching me slap this together. Uh, all right, so I will see you in just a moment with all these bits. And huzzah, we are back and we have pretty much everything we need. Oh, we don't need that, but we do need the radiator block. We're gonna have a bit of a spare one left over. So what we're gonna have to do is decide where we're gonna put this. Uh, what are we gonna do first? Generator block at this end. So I wanted to leave a bit of a gap just to make sure we had room. So we go there and then three there and then one there. Seems reasonable to me. So that's that. Now the radiator block, actually we'll do the radiator blocks at the end. This thing's going to be massive. But hopefully we will have an absolute ton of power coming out of this. Wow, they always look so ugly when they're made out of that, but then... Hmm. Generator block? Oh, generator block. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's quite a beastie looking thing. It looks pretty much like a real, uh, a real generator, actually. Now, we're going to need to put the switch on something. I'm not sure which side this goes on. Not that side. There. Sure, that seems to turn it on and off. I think that's where the power comes out, which means, yeah, I haven't really planned this overly well, unfortunately. We're gonna need... Yeah, actually, where does the power come out? Maybe the power comes out of those. Or well, there's some sort of power thing. Let's have a look. So fuel input from the bottom corners. All right, so fuel has to go there, whereas the energy has to be output up to three connections from up the top. So power's out to, oh, these things, right. Those three along there, excellent, okay. So those are our outputs. Our inputs are anywhere on the bottom. We may be able to get away with sneakily putting it, I know it doesn't look very pretty, but. Hmm. Well, it doesn't sound like it's, doesn't sound like it's going, unfortunately. Which means I think we're gonna have to bust that. It's wasting a little bit of fuel here. Okay, so how do we turn this on then? Oh, ha, huh. okay, so you can mirror image it. Awesome. In that case, I might mirror image it and put the switch around the other side because that is a bit more aesthetic for us. Although I can't now, that's weird. Okay, I don't know what's going on. And I can still put it on that side. Hmm, okay. That's a bit bizarre. All right, so we're gonna keep it around this way. But nothing is working and nothing is running. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Unless we're supposed to have it going in both sides. 
which I thought would be a bit bizarre. Either that or maybe we actually need to have power uh, leaving it into something. Interesting. Let's have another read. Energy up at the top, split connection, the small terminal on the side will turn off the generator supplied which one. Cool. So you can mirror it. Yep, so we got that in there. Cool. All right, so nothing much more we can do. So I'm gonna, once again, run away. This thing looks pretty cool, so I really want it to work. Um, but we're gonna probably have to hook up, hook up some power, which means I'm gonna have to rejig the way all this stuff works. Uh, 4096 means we're gonna probably need the, the bigger power as well. So basic wiring. So I don't know if that tells us how much each one can handle. It's a voltmeter. RF, so yeah, it doesn't really tell us how many each can handle. Which is not very handy either. Really? No, and there's nothing in there that looks like it as well. So it definitely seems to be here. Power, the wires seem to be the thing to do it, but I don't know uh, which one we're going to need to make. So let me go away again. I will see what's going on with this and we'll come back uh, with some extra cabling. We'll wire this thing in. Yeah, we'll, we'll wire this thing in with, uh, with immersive engineering cable, I think. Huh, we can run through the middle. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, wire this in with a massive engineering cable and see where we go from there and hopefully we'll get this thing to actually start up and make some noise. Uh, all right, so see you in just a moment. Okay, we are back with a whole pile of components now. So we've made a few things we're going to need uh, to get this thing to power. Uh, it does look like it will only output and use power when it's actually got some stuff to do. So uh, what I'm going to do is we've got these HV wire connectors. Now there's something worth noting here. Say we throw an HV wire connector down here and then, I don't know, we put another one on the roof here and then we have a capacitor. Let's just throw it down here and then we have another HV wire connector there. Now, if we use our wire to go from there to there and then from there, oh, you cannot attach this wire here. So this is the interesting thing with these. These are only connectors, they're not relays. So there's actually a completely different block for the relays, which are these things, the HV wire relay. Um, and that way you can sort of put the wire there, that connects to that, that connects to that, and there we go. Done. Looks kind of pretty. Holds the, uh, holds the wire up out of the way. Of course, we don't need it here because this is just close enough that I could, you know, I could break this and have the wire just directly from there to there um, and start filling this up. In fact, we're going to do that right now. So one of the things I am going to need to wire in though is this to this. So we're going to throw HV straight into it. We're going to put, well, we're actually going to need to use a relay right here. So we're going to go from there to there. Now I wonder, can we go from there straight through? Ha, oh, we can. That's pretty cool. Okay, so um, this thing here in my testing just before, you know, we've used a bit of biodiesel. There's no power left in there. So as soon as we flick the switch, ah, oh, look at that. Music to my ears. This now has a bunch of power. We're making biodiesel faster than we're using it, which is always a good sign. This thing here is, so that 2040. Now that's very interesting. So that means we're obviously sharing between the two outputs even though that's kind of full 2040 all right so this is actually a little bit of a tricky thing so one of the things i think would be a really good idea to do with this is not to use that because wasting 2000 rf per tick just on this refinery i mean this refinery doesn't need 2000 rf per tick it barely needs you know, a hundred, it doesn't, it doesn't use a lot to run on. So what I'm probably going to do is we'll bust this. We'll bust that. And we'll end up putting a capacitor down here. Wow. That was so, that's nearly full already. That's crazy. That's 
crazy. Can we put it there? We can. Ooh, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So that's, no, that's disabled. Oh, we'll leave that. I wonder if we can just output from there to there. That would be very interesting. So if we put one on there and one there, okay, from there to there, turn this on. Now we're getting the full 4,000, which is fantastic. This, however, is using up power. So what we're going to do is I think these capacitors are going to be a lot better at only spitting out the power that actually needs to be spit out. So we're going to throw one of those there, put that to there. Look at that. <laughs> bit convoluted. It's a bit convoluted. So we have, yeah, that'll, that'll do. That'll, that should just do it. That's now running. This now has power. And this is still getting 4,000. So as you can see, that was what, 4,077 before? So 40 RF per tick. This refinery only needs 40 RF per tick. We're clearly not needing to waste 2,000 RF per tick on it. So it looks like the best way to do it is to feed everything through one of these capacitor banks first. Wait for it. Is it going to stop? This will be interesting. Done. Cool, so it automatically turns itself off. This thing's full, full, everything is full and it's automatically turned itself off. The only thing I didn't test was to see whether, even though these pipes look ugly, I did want to see if they were. Apparently they do. Awesome, so I'm just gonna leave that plugged in there because it looks a little bit cleaner. Um, maybe I might do it down into the floor and put some glass, you know, some pretty glass in there so that you can see it underneath. But ultimately I don't really care for here because it is just the engine room. And that's stopped again, and that's stopped again. Awesome. So yeah, obviously a bit of rejigging for me to do here. I'm going to have to remove this. Yeah, this capacitor bank is going to have to move from there. I mean, that was just a convenient place to put it, but uh, we may, I may throw it in this wall here. Yeah, potentially, and then I could have the power from there through to the wall, and then the output, um, one side can go out to here, and the other, um, the other can go up. In fact, I might even make this whole wall into one big capacitor bank if I make a few more of them. But I will do that off camera. That's a pretty, um, that's a pretty boring thing again for you guys to watch. Uh, so next episode, we'll come back and I'll probably just show you what I've done at the start of next episode, uh, just to make sure you're across what's been happening. Uh, but in between now and then, I will destroy all these cables. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap them out. In behind the walls, I'm probably gonna use the the flux ducts. So there we go, 8,000 RF per tick, redstone energy ones. Well, okay, I'm probably not going to use those ones. I'm probably going to use, what's the hardened ones do? 800? Oh. Flux plays it. See, that does 2,000 RF per tick, and that is, yeah, no, it's still the redstone energy flux duct. We're going to need Flux electric, yeah, okay. So these are crazy, crazy to make. Saltpeter, blitz, yeah, blitz rods. I don't get blitz rods very often, unfortunately. Although, look at that. If you put redstone into sand, you get blitz powder. That's a very interesting thing to be able to do. So just a bit more redstone maybe, and yeah, you could do it, although we need more sand and we don't have much sand. So anyway, I'm going to figure out for next time what we're going to do for the power cables. It won't be those redstone flux ducts. Um, it may even just be these plain old gold ones. Um, maybe I'll even find a way of getting the, yeah, maybe I'll find a way of getting the HV wiring up. Either way, I will show you next time. Uh, but for now, that is a fantastic result. Again, I now have a ton of power at my disposal once I wire it in, uh, which means I can go on and make some of the more expensive things. One of the things I really wanted to make, um, or I needed to make, is an emerald chipset. Uh, that there lies. It is not 1.2 million RF. It is actually 50 million RF. So they, again, in the hard mode, have really tweaked this thing up. Um, if we go for, um, oh no, the Emerald, it was 1.2, sorry, the machine frame resonant is 
50 million RF. That's the thing that I wanted to make. I don't have enough power to make that, so I'm yeah holding off until I have my generator, which I do now. So anyway, uh, enough of me rambling. That's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next episode.